This is the project in 3D Builder. Let me open it up for you so you can see how it's assembled with top cap. And this is the fan grill in the top. Pull that out of the way. And then this is where I would mount either a 120 millimeter fan or a 140 millimeter fan. Um, this little square right here is for the top of the video card to fit through. Obviously that won't work with a 140 millimeter fan, but it will work with a 120. And a single fan video card will fit just fine. It doesn't need that square. But if you get a dual fan, you're definitely going to need that square. Um, forget about trying to fit a three fan video card in it. That's not going to happen. Uh, the shell just slides over the top of it, but we're just going to push that out of the way for now so you can see the skeleton or the frame of it here. And this is not an IO shield. That's where the IO shield would pop in. HDMI slot, and I put my little power button right inside of there. And the supports, you can put those supports in several spots. You can see one, two, or three can go there. Same on the other side. And then the motherboard rails, motherboard attaches right there. And that little hexagon green plate right there is to separate the back side of the motherboard from shorting out on anything that you might tuck in behind there, such as I put the power supply back in there and the hard drive SSD. And that's pretty much it. And then these cool guys right here are just the legs that would attach to the bottom. So this is it, nearly complete and powered on. Um, anyhow, this is kind of where it started, I'm sure. Some of you are familiar with this guy on Thingiverse. It is the mini ITX Apple ripoff trash can computer. And as you can see, this is kind of disassembled at the moment. This was the motherboard that I had in it. Um, you know, it's a solid processor. It's a uh, Intel i7 uh, 4790K, 4970K, sorry, got the numbers backwards, but anyhow, um, a nice little solid computer for the average user. Um, Bus speed's a little bit slow on it, being DDR2, but anyhow, wanted to, you know, started sanding this down so I could paint it and whatnot, and I thought, you know what, yeah, go ahead and do this right before I go through all that, and go ahead and make something that will accommodate a video card, because you really can't fit a video card in here with the motherboard, it's very tight inside of there. Um, but anyhow, this one will accommodate a video card. Right here, as you can see, is a GTX 1050 Ti, and it's sitting vertical. Got a ribbon there um, running from the PCI Express slot and kind of folded over to comfortably attach to the video card. Um, some nice little LEDs there, but whatever. Um, single fan video card, of course. A dual fan will fit. There is a little rectangle right there that a dual fan can pop out through the top of and well that's a 140 millimeter fan so 140 millimeter fan might get in the way of that yeah maybe it'd be tight uh, but anyhow this will accommodate a 120 millimeter fan if you see there's some offset posts right behind the posts for the 140 millimeter fan to attach to and those offset posts are for a 120 millimeter fan um, which was adequate enough to cool this guy uh, this thing is sucking air right from the bottom pulling it through the case over top of everything and shooting it right out the top it's definitely got adequate adequate airflow um, but either way, 120 would do just fine, and then you could definitely fit a dual fan video card inside of there. I don't have a dual fan to test on it. I got a triple fan, and it's definitely way too big. But this is a very neat little video card that I found on eBay, or video card motherboard. Um, Mini ITX, yeah, you know, small, but... Uh, made by like a subsidiary or something of Asus called AA Eon. I don't know, they make industrial cards, but somehow or another they're related to Asus. Um, search the model number on this motherboard and you'll get both Asus and that other name to pop up, AAEON. And this one uses SODIMS, so I got the, car, the motherboard for 
25 bucks and I have plenty of processors for it. This particular one is a Intel Xeon uh, quad core 3.2 gigahertz. I got a bunch of them laying around. I got a bunch of old server computers that I've been either parting out or refurbishing for people. And, you know, so I got a lot of these Xeon 3.2s and they're solid processors for the average user. Um, so anyhow, I wasn't too abashed to spend, you know, a little bit of money to buy 16 gigs of uh, SODIMM memory for it. And ripped all, it's good quality. But DDR3, it's nice. But what's interesting about this board, it has tons of these like controller ports, controller ports of some sort. Not exactly sure what they're for. It's all kinds of random ports over to motherboards, which is really neat. Uh, it's got a PCI Express, uh, like a mini card slot right there that I ordered a, uh, I think that come out of a Dell laptop, but it's brand new. It's intended for a Dell, is that wireless adapter right there. Uh, both, uh, to, uh, 2G and 5G wireless with the uh, uh, Bluetooth as well. So, very nice. And then it's got some other random little ports on it, like that little one down there. I have no idea what all they're for. So, eh, I thought about exploring all those ports and trying to plug as much crap into it as I could just for the heck of it. However, um, I had to defeat the purpose. So, I uh, made this for the wife, and she's picking the colors. Either way, that is the color of like all of the, uh, I guess you would say accessory pieces is this sparkly turquoise while the rest of the shell is going to be this sparkly purple, kind of grayish purple. So it's what she wants. It'll definitely accommodate her needs. Um, there's a power supply. That's a flex, uh, flex ATX or flex ITX, I believe something like that power supply, um, the hard drive, SSD, and then these are the little antennas strapped onto the support posts on this. Uh, let's see, the, the video card going upright, there's a right angle HDMI cord inside of there, and you can kind of see it right there, and it runs out the back side. Um, into the I.O. panel, and you can see right there's the I.O. panel and then that little round hole is for the power button. Um, and either way, the power cord running from the sky, once again, is a right angle cord. Feeds through the bottom and pops out right there. And basically it's just a right angle, uh, I believe like a 10 inch or 12 inch, something like that. Right angle extension, essentially. Um, and then you just plug your regular standard computer power cord into it. So anyhow, a little bit of LED action. But there it is. Gonna go ahead and slide the shell over top of it now and finish this guy up and start moving all of her data programs, all that good stuff from her old computer to this one. Okay, so this is it. All booted up. LED shining through the front of the case all nice. And like I said, these are the colors she picked. I'm actually kind of digging it. This sparkly grayish purple whatever. And then I used uh, Protopas Protopastas. Um, I think it's Crystal Ice, I think. It's basically a translucent um, PLA that I did that with. And then or turquoise color, the back panel with everything hooked up, and this is where the uh, right angle HDMI that comes from the 1050 Ti comes out, and this is the full back panel I.O. on this board, and see down in there tons of airflow on this, and anyhow, um, there you go, Xeon 3.2 quad core with the 16 gigs of RAM. And this is the nifty little motherboard that I mentioned, made by, like I said, it's uh, AA Eon, an Asus associate company. Um, interesting board. 
Fascinating. All kinds of weird I.O. There's all those controller ports that I showed you earlier. And then that interesting parallel port of some sort. But I don't think it's the old school parallel. I think it's more of what you would see on a Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm not familiar with all that. But anyhow, and this is interesting. PCI Express 4X, not a 16X, it's a 4X. And your higher end video cards, believe it or not, would work on a 4X. Slightly reduced power and slightly reduced performance. And it's going to be negligible for her, what she does on it. She does mild gaming. She doesn't do anything hardcore. So this is actually perfect for her. Um, I was rather excited to get this board. And I was going to do something a little bit different. Then I stumbled across this board. And I just found it fascinating. It's only 25 bucks, And it's a LGA 1150. Um, so, you know, works great with these Xeon processors that I mentioned. That I just have oodles of laying around. So, but... Yeah, pretty cool LEDs came out great on this, better than I expected they would. I love it. So, definitely going to be doing something a little bit different. Going to design another one of these. And uh, I have some really cool ideas. Um, actually, it took me a couple of months just to do this because I work so much. So, I don't know how quickly... I'll get around to my next crazy design and you know and this is not my design entirely all i did was modify the crap out of it you know this is someone else's excellent design that they did i gotta give credit um they did an amazing job on it and yeah love it 